All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Malik Lajante, and today we're gonna let's talk. Let's let's go into some conversation. Um, so recently, I read an article on Cosmopolitan uh, or Cosmo, and the whole thing was adulting. How millennials feel like adulting is a bad thing, or we put a label on becoming an adult as if it's not necessary. One of the statements says, I grabbed drinks with my friends but only talked about apartment leasing. Hashtag adulting. Um, and then they go on to say that because we are putting a label on it, in a sense, that we're shying away from the idea of adulting. And I think it's the total opposite. I mean, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, it's all a situation of social media. It's sharing your thoughts and opinions of your everyday life, your everyday obstacles, or whatever the case may be. And adulting is one of those things. We are growing into adults. We're becoming responsible. We're becoming knowledgeable about what's necessary for the day-to-day -to, -day to become a successful adult so it goes on to say that millennials use certain things in life to hashtag say it's adulting and i don't see the problem with it i mean my parents were born in the late 50s early 60s so it's a situation where social media was non-existent social media was not something that you do and they may have been pushed into adulthood early because their parents were younger and they had no other choice but as times change generations change that means that experiences are going to change so this hashtag adulting is a situation where millennials or people becoming adults which is the millennial generation are able to collaborate on what they think is responsible adulting or whatever the case may be so to literally it's a sense of like tearing down millennials because we're accepting adulthood it's kind of like backwards to me it doesn't make sense to me um the Urban Dictionary, because we know adulting is not in the dictionary. We're not dumb individuals. Um, as the article tries to portray as if making up a word is something new. Um, but the Urban Dictionary says or defines adulting as to do grown-up things and hold responsibilities such as a 9-to-5 job, a mortgage, slash rent or a car payment or anything else that makes one feel like an adult so if it's a feeling that makes you feel like you're an adult why not express that moment um and it seems as though this article is like so what you're doing your laundry yourself so what you cook dinner for yourself so what you made your car payment so what you have a job and it's not that, it's more or less, why not celebrate that you're doing this on your own without the opinions or your parents holding your hand? I'm proud to say I'm adulting. I've been adulting since I graduated college. Um, and maybe it was later than my parents. So what? it should be the custom that we want better for our children than what we had so my grandparents my grandmother didn't graduate from high school but my mother did my mother and father did not graduate from a four-year university however i did and i've gotten my master's so it's a situation where you want better for your children and if you can figure out a way to support them in that endeavor why not do so so in the article it's a sense where they use some stats that maybe the generation prior to us the baby boomers or that generation they in a sense were forced into adulthood and they weren't able to stay at home 
until they graduated college or whatever the case may be. If that's the case, then if they weren't able to stay at home, why not be able to provide that extra security for your children so that they are able to have a better life? What's the problem with that? And once we do get out on our own, we've, uh, we've grown accustomed to, hey, this is what my parents did. This is how I should be handling things. This is that, this is that, and this is how I should money manage. It makes you a better and more successful adult. It's that trial and error. So the trial was your grandparents. They were thrown into adulthood very, 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 very young. And then they had their children and it may not have been the same thing. So, like I said, grandmother didn't graduate high school yet. She made it to a point where most of her children did graduate from high school. And my parents and my aunts, my uncles, they made it to a point where they wanted more for their children and they said, my kids must go to college or find a way to be better than I. And what's the problem with that? Adulting is that moment of being self-sufficient. And as we know, the world changes, the environment changes. So if what my parents were doing in their time is not going to be the same thing, now then they need to equip us with something different and that's what's happened so in this article it's more or less it's disturbing in a sense to me because they want us to adapt to change however they don't want us to be um, how do you say they don't want us to be creative in a sense so i mean my parents had their own slang for things. They had their own way of doing things. And that's what we're doing. We have our own way of doing things. Yes, we may hashtag adulting or whatever the case may be. But it's like, why not? Why can't we? Everything is not going to be the same. The article is titled, Kindly Shut the Hell Up About Adulting. That's not kind. And why can't I say hashtag adulting? Is it not doing an adult thing? When I'm a child, I'm in the household with my parents. They're taking care of the rent. They're taking care of the mortgage or the electric or the cable or whatever the case may be. So if I get out on my own and I pay my rent, I pay my car payment, I pay my credit card bill, I made dinner for myself, I did laundry, that's being an adult. So it's hashtag adulting. You're becoming responsible for the person you are. Understanding that you're growing. It's not saying that adulting is terrible because it's not. I enjoy being an adult. I enjoy not answering to anyone if I don't want to. I can come and go as I please. I can get whatever I want. I am an adult. I've been an adult. When I decided to move out of my parents' home, I said I wasn't coming back for a good reason because I feel like they've equipped me with the knowledge necessary to handle adulthood. And that's the best reward for parents, I think. I think when I moved out initially, my father was more nervous than my mother was. And I think I've made him proud to this point because I'm not coming to mom and dad to ask for, hey... I didn't manage my money right, so can you guys help me pay my rent? No. Or I tried this new adventure and now I can't pay for this, that, and the third and it's getting disconnected. Can I get your help? And no, I'm not saying that it's something wrong with that. We learn from our mistakes, but don't downplay the acceptance that millennials are taking or don't downplay the ideas that millennials have taken everything's not going to be the same and i i was really like offended reading this article and not and not to say that offended like oh it's going to change how i i act or oh it's going to change what i do because 
I might, I may today write a tweet that says hashtag Rick do tomorrow hashtag whatever the case may be, but hashtag adulting because I'm proud of being an adult. I'm proud of growing into what it is to be an adult, what it is to take on that responsibility and take on the challenges of an adult. Um, and the article goes on to say that more women use the hashtag adulting more women in general hashtag. So it's not a situation where women think that they're doing adulting more than men are. More women are showing I'm doing dinner or hashtag I cook dinner, hashtag adulthood or this, that, and the third rather than oh my gosh, I had an amazing week at work and I killed this, that, and the third, hashtag adulting. What we find more important is not the same thing that men find important. We're different at a lot of things. So I, I hate the whole thing of let's compare women to men, men to women. Men don't do this, but women do this. So what? We're different. We're supposed to. That's what makes us unique. Or I'm not supposed to put emphasis on what I don't feel is important. What you feel is important is what you feel is important. However, what Malik Wajante feels is important is what she's going to feel is important. So, what's your point? You don't have one. So, I just... Mm, this this article, like, rubbed me completely wrong. Like, I don't even know how I came upon this article. But, it's like they're throwing shade in the sense that we're privileged individuals or we're spoiled. If that's the case, then allow us to grow into this world of adulting L allow us to make the mistakes allow us to understand what adulting is cooking dinner washing dishes doing the laundry paying my rent paying all of my necessary bills and still being able to take care of me if that's what i feel is adulting hashtag adulting because reality is it's adulting um, I'm extremely happy in my adulthood challenges. Sometimes you go through life and you say, oh my God, I got this bill, I got that bill, but all I want to do is relax and go to sleep. But you can't because you're an adult and you have to take care of yourself. So hashtag adulting. The memes of it's Monday morning and I don't want to wake up for work, but I'm waking up because I got rent due and bills do and you wake up and you go to work and you put your best foot forward hashtag adulting because you're making the responsible decision to be an adult and take care of your business what's the problem there's no problem there we have to stop passing so much judgment on other generations every generation is going to be different because every situation has changed what my parents did is not going to be the same thing we did how they grew up is not the same way I grew up. How my parents grew up compared to how their parents grew up, totally different. And that's what we have to recognize. Stop comparing every single generation to each other. It's pointless. It's not going to be the same. The technology is different. The advancement is different. The opportunity is different. So if we want to talk about how millennials always want to shame away from responsibility that's not the case because you're looking at it in the opposite direction look at it as oh millennials are taking responsibility and doing what they're supposed to be doing to become responsible adults don't see the problem personally think it's a great thing millennials keep adulting because hello that's what we're supposed to do our parents have equipped us with the knowledge to do so let's keep doing it so if you see me hashtag adulting you can turn your your lip up or you can roll your eyes but that's okay because i'm adulting i'm handling my business and being a responsible adult but let's continue this conversation below let me know what you guys think about adulting is it pointless should we stop talking about it is it encouraging is it showing your parents that you're actually doing what they taught you to do? Let me know. 
Because I can tell you now, I could call my mom right now or my dad, and they're extremely proud of me. They're extremely proud of the woman I've become because I'm taking responsibility for myself. Hashtag adulting. And I'm out.